What's up everybody? Welcome back to another theme park obsession video. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Today I'm at Six Flags Magic Mountain to check up on the park this week and have a little fun. So how about we dive right in? So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty windy here at the park today. Uh, I was actually just kind of surprised it was open because here in Valencia it was like extremely windy a little bit earlier on. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna see how the day goes. But the first ride up on the list is Revolution. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some rides that I don't normally do and just see if they beat me up or not. So first one is Revolution. Over in the distance, you can see the one of the old Fright Fest mazes is still up. This one's actually been up for like a couple of years now. I wonder why they haven't taken it down. Okay, so today we're gonna try the middle row. I figure that's just a, a safe bet to see if this ride's gonna beat us up or not. But uh, yeah, Revolution. It does not have the VR on it anymore, by the way. Yeah, so just got off Revolution. It's actually not that bad. I was surprised because the last time I went on this was when they had the VR headset on it. And oh my God, it was so jerky. I, I was like, nope, never again. But uh, yeah, lo and behold today, it was actually pretty smooth in some portions of the attraction. And uh, yeah, not having the over the shoulder restraint anymore is fantastic. It's actually a really fun ride, a lot longer than I thought too. So next up is going to be Superman, but we're gonna take the helpful Honda Express up the mountain towards Tatsu and Ninja just because we're a little lazy. But as you can see too, the park is pretty dead. There's actually not that many people here. And it's a really gorgeous day today. Well, so much for taking the helpful Honda Express. It's closed. Full throttle is always a great ride. And uh, it's open today because it's not Sunday, even though they're sponsored by Chick-fil-A. Ooh, what is this? It looks like they might be resurfacing the ground. Looks like that's what it looks like to me. Let's go take a little closer look. See, so yeah, it looks like they just repainted the uh, the ground you can tell like right over here it's actually really nice and clean so at least this is a, a little bit not nicer than before it's awesome awesome job six flags hello superman so before we do superman we're just gonna go ahead and make a pit stop to goliath it's one of my favorites in the park pretty solid hyper coaster it's not the craziest in the world but it's still pretty fun it would be kind of cool if they revisited like re-theming the uh, queue line because I do like the jungle kind of uh, aspect of this. So it would be kind of nice to have everything re-themed again because there are still cool little pieces scattered. This needs to be updated. So we just got off Goliath. We just had a rare, very rare moment on that one. Um, and this was re resulted in probably one of my best rides on Goliath is the mid course brake run. We barely slowed down. Like we just went right through the mid course brake run. And I think it was because there was not that many people on the train. Oh man, that makes that ride, uh, especially the finale so much better. We were hitting that, uh, that helix at the end, full speed. That was so awesome. That was the best ride on Goliath I've had, hitting, not hitting that mid course brake run. That was really cool. We're still trying to make it to Superman, but I keep getting sidetracked by all these cool coasters. Next up is Twisted Colossus. Again, this is like a total walk-on for me since I always like sitting in the back. The front's a little crowded, but the back for me is my go-to. I just got off Twisted Colossus. Again, another great ride. We actually had an awesome duel on that one. It's been a while since we've uh, been racing on that coaster, so it was nice to finally get a good duel. But uh, yeah, now making our way closer to Superman. I feel like Superman is going to be the last ride today <laughs> at this rate because we're having fun. There's nobody at the park today. It's, uh, what day is it? So today's Tuesday, April 9th, by the way. Uh, it is spring break, but again, there's not too many people here. It might be because of the wind. All right, next up is Battle for Metropolis. I haven't been on this one in a while, so let's give this one a shot. Welcome to the this all right, so just got off the Justice League, and uh, you know what? They vastly improved that experience because before uh, the projection system was completely faded, uh, but now it's like crystal clear. So they must have closed it down for a little bit and repaired uh, whatever was wrong because that was actually a really cool, uh, fun ride experience this time. So again, good job Six Flags for repairing that. It doesn't look like anything's changed since the last video. Uh, unfortunately, the West Coast Pre uh, Preview Center is not open, so I can't get a view from the windows, but uh, yeah, no supports yet. Maybe soon though, because they have been finishing all the footers, like all these are done, so that's actually a really good sign, and it looks like they're about to put in some rebar for some other footers, so this is great. 
So from this vantage point, again, uh, not too much progress since the last Six Flags video. Even on Apocalypse, it looks like it's just the same kind of work. But again, I'm glad that they are uh, improving the pace on this project. And just the other day, I think it was yesterday, they got the trains in for West Coast Racers, which is awesome. All right, we made it. I hope it doesn't have a long wait, because I really don't like waiting a long time for this ride. I uh, just got off Superman, escaped from Krypton. Uh, yeah, I only waited like five minutes for it. That's pretty much the maximum I'll wait for that ride, because it's just so quick. It's just up and down. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get launched all the way to the top, um, which is a little unfortunate, because it just came back from a little bit of a, a refurbishment. It's still, it's still an okay ride, but I wouldn't be disappointed if they got rid of it, you know? All right, well, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's Six Flags video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. And also follow my Instagram page at Theme Park Obsession. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.